Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how are you doing? Okay, I am going to take some pictures and some tea bags and I am going to paint them with some uh, PVA water mix and yeah, stick the tea bags on top of the pictures. Um, I wasn't sure how this was going to work out um, when I initially did it. Uh, it looked like it was going to obscure too much of the picture and I wasn't going to be able to see it. Um, but happily as it dried it became more transparent and yeah it worked out quite nicely. Um, I'll do a few of these and set them aside to dry um, and I will um, show you at the end how they ended up. Um, I am going to use these as ephemera in my um, cookbook journal, um, either just to decorate pages or as pockets or whatever I happen to come up with. I just wanted to make them less magazine-y and glossy and yeah, a bit more rustic. So that was the idea. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'll just show you the process. It wasn't difficult um, um, or particularly time consuming to be honest so <laughs> I was just very happy with the result because I was not sure um, like I say as I was doing it that it was going to turn out to be worth doing at all but um, yeah turned out that it was. Um, I did go through my tea bags um, to begin with to find sort of a lighter coloured ones all my tea bags are very dark um, so I chose the lightest ones I could find with the sort of least staining on them. Um, yeah, which clearly was a good thing. <laughs> anyway, guys, sit back and enjoy. As you can probably tell here, my tea bags are quite small. Um, they're very cheap tea bags. I use them for tea dyeing um, and batch dyeing. And yes, when once I've sort of cut them um, to get the tea out, uh, I'm not left with a, a very large area of tea bag at all to work with. So I'm having to overlap them. Um, you may get a more pleasing result if you would like it that way if you used a larger tea bag um, you would have to have less overlaps and less sort of obscured parts of your your base layer but um, 
I actually quite enjoy the way these turned out. Um, it just has that tiny little bit of an industrial look to it because it is joined quite regularly. So, um, yeah, I, I quite like it, but um, it's just something to keep in mind. Different tea bags will give you different kinds of results, I guess. Okay, well that is probably more than enough to give you the general idea of what I'm doing. Um, I will now let all these dry and I'll come back and show you the result. And here they are. Um, some of them are more successful than others. But as a general rule, I think they turned out just fine. Um, I quite like them. And I would most definitely be using some of them in this journal as we go. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to peel them off of this mat. Which is a very satisfying process, I must admit. <laughs> if you do not have a silicon mat and have, yeah, have not painted anything with PVA and water... Let it dry on your silicon mat and then peeled it off. I very highly recommend that as a uh, <laughs> as a process that will definitely calm nerves and settle frayed nerves. <laughs> because yeah, it's uh it's a very very good feeling. <laughs> or maybe it's just me. I don't know. <laughs> But I do highly recommend it. I enjoy it very much. <laughs> so yeah, I have quite a few pictures here. Um, I don't know if I will use all of them in this journal. There is quite a lot. But um, yeah, I, uh, I'm very pleased with the way they turned out.
I will quickly go through these and have a quick look but um, all in all that's pretty much it that's the whole process and yeah just something a bit different to add to your journals I hope you enjoyed this guys uh, thanks so much for spending time with me today I'll see you again tomorrow bye